<clears throat> Let me tell you, this child that I was dealing with, like CDC, <laughs> when I lived in LA, <laughs> he wasn't quite together, and he wanted me to munch. Uh huh. And you know, you always got to do a little smell test. <laughs> so I put my finger down there. Uh huh. And I smelled it. <sighs> Baby, it smelled like something had crawled up inside of him and, and died. perished. And he was like, "What's up? What you, you going? You going?" And I said, "And was this a butch queen?" Oh, you said this. <laughs> I said, "I said that's Ooh. you." He, he said, "He did just." He said, "Ooh." I said, "Yeah, that's." I said, "That's you." <laughs> yeah. See, I, a lot of those things have deterred me from the. the oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's you. I just had a thought about how how rank it was. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It was beyond rank. Okay. And so that the, uh -huh. the, these are the reasons why that I've stopped like really indulging like deeply into the sexual things that I used mm. to when I was younger, you know, because I, I just don't have time for that type of shit no more. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I just I have no interest. Right. Oh, I, listen, I have no problem telling you to get in the shower. Yeah, I just I don't have really no interest in, in the things like like and I, I, I my freak meter is like my freak meter stops at threesomes, orgies, swallowing. Mm -hmm. Urine, blood, animals, shit, feces. Um, it would stop at a, a beating. You say it would? It would, but there's some areas that I may like. <laughs> That's what I was like. What do you mean by would? It would. It would. It would. I won't cross the, heavily in the line. Okay, so what's the furthest you'll go? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get there and see. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I know do... you're a fighter. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I don't do the swallowing. I just, I'm not getting into that. I'm just not. You know, I just right. don't think that it's right anymore. Like the throat cancer. I'm getting. Oh, uh, Lord, Maddie. Girl, they got uh, gonorrhea in the eyes and shit. Oh, yeah. Or syphilis or something like I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's too what much. What y'all out here doing? It's just too much. It's too many things that are going on, and so I just stick to the realm of going. They going to these pajama parties. Uh, yeah, oh no, that's what they call them. That's what they call them now. They disguise the sex party. We talking about the fags now, the <laughs> fags. Girl, they going to these pajama parties. Girl, they wearing all this sexually revealing clothes. Girl, you know you do not sleep like that when you home, right? Men wearing necklace negligee. <laughs> To walk around at a birthday party. Oh, somebody or said fisting. No, I don't get into that. Oh, somebody told me that you know, if you get into that fisting and you're the one being fisted, uh -huh. then eventually you can't hold your bowels. Really? Bitch, your your asshole is so stretched out that like you just have shit in your underwear because it's just it, you just drop honey, it. it's not, it's not your asshole is not so it's just like this. A fist is not supposed to go up there. Uh, somebody says snowballing. You're judging, Mar Mo. I'm not judging. I'm just saying it's not supposed to. If that's what you like, so be it. I'm just saying it's not supposed to. It so. loosens the booty. Yeah, so, so exactly. Mo, have you ever been asked to be a cuckold? No, I, I could never do that. But have you ever been asked? No. Mo, you're African. Now, what is a cuckold? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Whoa, 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 wait. Just because I, what is that supposed to mean? Honey, I'm the I'm most African man I know have been asked to be cuckold. Well, it's not this African man. I couldn't do it. I can't well, it's not it. about you can't and couldn't. It's What's a cuckold? When the man asks for the woman, I mean, the, the woman another man. Asks, when the woman wants a man to fuck her in front of his, his, uh, her, her husband, and he watches and stuff right. like that. Wait, a man? No, a woman. A woman wants her husband to watch her get fucked. Yeah, by by another cuckolding, oh, and okay. you just sit there and watch. <clears throat> well, some of them participate. I've watched that too. That's a that's that's a that's either a trade or a threesome. Nah, it's not because he doesn't do anything. He captures the semen. I've watched to do it. Huh? I've watched it. I was like, ooh. Oh. oh. I watched the lady get the poor pussy dug up and then her. Uh -uh. <laughs> and he wants it, he wants his wife to be breed breeded. And so he goes and he eats the, he eats some pussy like after the after she's been breeded. So and so then I seen one that he just I was like, you might as well just should have sucked the dick. So basically, eating another man's. Yeah, I'm like, you might as well should have just sucked the dick, girl. Yeah, if, if that's the case, you you the, 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 the boy over there, plumber. bro. This all all this sexual deviance, girl. Listen, the boy over there plummeting. The that's a lot. Over there plummeting. That's a whole lot. 
over there plummeting the cunt, tearing the cunt up, and then he she, then he pulls the dick out, and the man the man gets down there, and he just <clears throat> he takes he he, he just. Uh, he he, uh, he take he takes he, the he but, he, but he won't put his mouth around the dick. He just eats it from her. He eat it from her, or he lets or the man comes and his. I've seen it. I was like, oh, can I get a refill? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and that's another that shit made me though. I'm like, I ain't doing no swallowing. Nah, I can't do it. Okay, I'm not doing do it. Do it. Oh, that's what we had before. Yeah, that's what I gave you. It was good, wasn't it? Uh-huh. I masked it with some grapefruit juice. I mean, some uh, <laughs> you masked Wait. it. What? Craig, you drunk all my damn alcohol. Girl, this is my first time having oh some. But this is my second glass. Well, so I want to ask you this. Do you um do you think that it's wrong to be gay? Um or, or trans or queer. Let me say queer. To be inclusive. I don't go by the, the biblical sense of the things that people have been like biblically uh, uh, washed, brainwashed. And conditioned to believe. And conditioned to believe that um, you know, a person's genetic makeup because I do believe it's in the genes. I believe it is too. That a person's genetic makeup is incorrect or or like that we all have to follow a system of like we all got to be the same fucking thing. I right. just don't believe that. That 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 so no, I don't think being gay is wrong. Right. I don't think being trans is wrong. I don't I don't think you can't ask me that because bitch, I'm gonna say of course not. You know, mm-hmm. I just don't. I just feel like that, you know. Was there a time that you thought being gay or trans? Well, I was taught or... that. Right. And so when you're taught something, when 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 it's passed down generationally, <clears throat> it's a conditioning. You know, your mind is is fixing it that this is incorrect, it's not right, it's not right. But then when you start having these, when you when you start having these desires, or you mm-hmm. or you meet somebody and then you be friends, and then it's just like, oh, I really like this person, like you mm-hmm. know, or or or, or something, because a lot of times things just happen. Right. And then you then you start struggling with the thoughts and you brain, like, oh my god, am, am I gay? Mm-hmm. What Jen Jesse said, are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> You doing the bending? Uh-huh. How could you marry a woman and then turn around and let a man bend you over? Uh, Ain't nobody uh, bending me you. over. Oh, oh, so you doing the bending? <laughs> <laughs> you know that that is a, those are conditional thoughts, like you know, <clears throat> right? I, um, and I believe that. Gay struggle with it. I believe a lot. I believe of, a lot of gays struggle with it. A lot of even gays. even those who believe they've come through it and come past it. I think there are a lot of um, gay men or queer people. Let me just say queer to include everybody who move through the community with these feelings, with these leftover feelings that it's wrong to be who you are, and you know all of that stuff because it's a condition and it comes. Like whoever taught you religion, yeah. like my grandmother taught me to pray. And I'm ba- I, I was raised Baptist, but my grandmother was pa- um, was Catholic, and so even today, when I say my grace, and when I get down on my knees at night to say my prayers, I do this because she taught me that. It's really just a practice, and so my thing is, you have to separate what you've been taught to believe from what you know to be true for yourself. Right. You know what I mean? But I think there are a lot of us who move through the community. With these with these leftover feelings and thoughts that it's wrong to be who they are, I do, and I, and this is what what this is what I, what causes uh, internal internalized homophobia, internalized homophobia, transphobia, Trans, yeah. And this is why a lot of gays, you ready? Uh, come on, because bitch, I'm ready to shake the table because you don't say what you think I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it. This is why a lot of gays um, align themselves with hetero ideology because they feel that being in close proximity to straightness absolves them of being home. Ooh, what does it do, girl? Absolves them girl! of being homosexual. Girl, this HBC, G- HSBC is rubbing off on you, bitch. Bitch, did you feel that? Girl. Wait a minute, I'm just talking. Hold on. Girl, say it again, girl. Absolve them of yes. being homosexual. Correct. And because uh, uh, they struggle with these things, they tend to project their feelings onto other people of, of trans experience, Correct. other homosexual people, and they also have the ability to spot it out and they also occupy spaces of leadership where they try to condemn these things, you know, and, and really secretly are in a deep struggle with this stuff within themselves, <laughs> i.e. pastors. Yep. Donnie McClurkin. Not just Donnie. Right. 
i.e. pastors, police officers, uh-huh. um, judges, judges, you know, and I think that politicians, definitely politicians. Sure. And I think that these people have this stuff built up in inside of them and they and they want to eradicate it out of it someone else because the worst thing that you can do is 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 stand in the mirror and and like really see your own demons that you're hiding on the outside. Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> but to add to what you were saying, that same thing that 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 fear of femininity, if you will, is part of the reason that I believe that a lot of gay men, in particular black gay men, black and brown gay men cuz Hispanic men have the same issues in a lot of cases. A lot of them have issues finding a partner because we're so busy grading people on how many sec- uh how many feminine qualities they have. Oh, he's not hard enough. Oh, we're looking for a straight man and a gay man. And it's just like I think part of that is you know, along the journey it's just like I believe that there's this work and, and, that we and, have and, to and do. And I'm going to I'm going to uh counter that Mm -hmm. and bring you back to the to the front of that and say this is why a lot of the butch queens don't deal with trans and the trainees have uh bump heads with each other because and lesbians why gay men aren't a lot of times aren't close to lesbians well gay men they're usually more we'll get into this we go go, ahead we about to tell why gay men and trainees Mm -hmm. Usually have altercations with each other because again, it's just like with the cunts, it's a tussle, it's a it's a tug of war over masculinity. Exactly. Not just men over masculinity. Exactly. Because wrote, let's run it. The, uh, uh, I, I, y'all not, I don't give a fuck how y'all feel. I don't live this experience. Men who identify, you will never ever get a straight man. To identify as anything else but that, right. no matter what his sexual encounters is, right. what his sexual experiences right. is, he's going to identify as straight. I don't give for what you oh, standing in the corner pointing and calling him. Right, right. right. He's going to identify. <laughs> That's why they had to come up with terms like MSM, men who have sex with M, men, but fuck the term SGL. He ain't, he ain't. He ain't with none of that. He's not with none of that. Right. He, he's a straight. He's a straight man. Correct. And so, when men who identify with straight men, like women, all women fall under the umbrella for him, for for them. Mm-hmm. Gay boys don't tend to understand that. Like how can they stay they have the same mind frame as uh-huh. the cunts? How he he how he like the girls and the girls. Nah, he can't, mm-hmm. you know, and don't like me. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. there are men that ain't ain't on none of that shit. That ain't right. gonna fuck with you, period. Right. Because you this is what he sees the masculine presenting. Mm-hmm. And so it's always been a rift with the girls about that because the 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 because because when me and baby girl fell out, mm-hmm. there was so many gay butch queens even to even to this day mm-hmm. that scream out, yeah, you was over there, that, yeah, yeah, queen, that training was over there, that you know, I'm all types of trainees and all types of men mm-hmm. and wigs and niggas because they're trying to get into close proximity, proximity with that with one. someone that's straight, straight. And want to be on the good side. I also was a, was a part of that because I always felt like they're not talking about me. Mm. I felt safe. Yeah. And so, I, it's, so it's kind of like it's kind of like black folks who want who we call Oreo cookies. They think that they can be around white people and they accept me because yeah, I'm black. They're, but they're talking about the other. Yeah, black they're not people. talking about. They're not talking about me. Yeah. And so you know, even when I was in those positions, I always felt like, well, they're not talking about me. So right. I didn't see the wrong in what they were doing and saying. Yeah. Because they're not talking about me. They're talking, they're talking about, about them, them, fags. them fags over there. Yeah. They're talking about them trans over there. Yeah. They're talking about this over here. And so right. a lot of the butch queens, you know, fall into that. Yeah. And they and they be anti-trans. Correct. I don't understand y'all want to be women. And it's just like, uh, excuse me, but you don't understand us want to be women. But when the men fucking on us, y'all be the first ones running over there trying to make sure that y'all tell these men that we're men. Right. They, well, listen, they're a lot of times are the ones that out y'all. Yes, they be the main ones. The main ones screaming out that you're a trainee. The punks do this. And then you try to understand like, well, you isn't because he don't want to put his mat, his 
the mask that the mask for mask that you've been seeking on those profiles. He, this man likes women. In, in his eye, the girls is under is under the woman umbrella. Mm -hmm. And so when the butch queens be like, well, he how, you don't understand it. Like, why you if a man wanted to be with a man with, with, with a woman, he could be one, he could be with a man. No, because I, I, I used to have those thoughts too. Yeah. Like if a man wanted to be with a man, he'll be with a man. If he wanted to be with a woman, he'll be with a woman. And that's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there are things in the gray areas that exist. Yes. It ain't just black and white. Right. It's black, white, red, gray, purple, green, yellow, orange, indigo, all of the things. Chartreuse. Here. This is spectrum of stuff. Right. What did you say? Chartreuse. Chartreuse. Uh -huh. okay. Cerulean. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which is the shade of blue. Cerulean. Okay. Magenta. Right. Fuchsia. <laughs> and this same thought process and this same thinking. I'm about to. I'm about to pull. I'm. See, this is how you know I'm a real bitch. Mm. I'm about to put myself on trial. Go ahead. This same thought process and this same thinking has me in a place that I'm trying to get better from. Okay. I'm still not healed. From. Uh, uh, talk to the people, girl. Make it plain, girl. I'm still not healed from. Make it plain. It. I'm trying to get better from it. Mm -hmm. I won't. I really don't want to date a man that gets fucked. You thought I wasn't going to go there, Craig? Craig, did you thought I wasn't going to put myself... <laughs> Get my children out of here! <laughs> Damn it! Did you think that I wasn't gonna? Put I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. Bitch, I'm a real bitch. Did you think I was gonna put myself on there? I didn't. Think I also wrong. walked around and was like, you know, because I would sit with my girlfriends, and when me and my girlfriends would sit around, and I still do this to this day, mm -hmm. when me and my girlfriends, who are biological women, sit okay. around and have conversation, and we start talking about men and all the stuff, and and and, and, and like you know, you know. Uh, so I understand when they have when we have these conversations like, well, I don't want no man that's been with no that. And I be saying, I don't want no man to be with a whole bunch of gay men either. Well, I don't want no gay man that's been with a whole bunch of gay men. Craig. <laughs> but you still want a gay man. I do not. I do. So, <laughs> so you feel, you see, I feel, you yeah. see what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. But, but here's the thing. Let me just say this. I do think that sometimes, and I'm not saying that in particular, you know, like, because you don't want to be with a guy who's been fucked before. What I'm saying is, I do think that sometimes, as people, and then if we if we whittle it down just a little bit, and we really just look at the gay community or the queer community, I think sometimes we have such, we set up all of oh, these see, standards. Here, here go the questions. I like it. I like it. I'm going to get to go ahead and we, we, we have all of these, I think we put in all of these things, oh, I don't want this, and I don't want that. I think sometimes we talk ourselves out of just being in anything at all. Cause I think there's a fear. I think we all have like a fear of, again, like I said before, of being the next story. Like nobody wants to be the next story. Oh, child, did you hear what happened with Madison? Child, she had moved that nigga in and he, he had a bitch in, in the house while she was, like nobody wants to be the next story. So I think we're all kind of moving gingerly with hopes of not being the next story, but we said, oh, I can't be with somebody whose credit score ain't this. I had these, have these Comments conversations mode. all the time with my friends. And one of my friends in particular says, Oh, yeah, his credit score ain't. I'm like, first of all, bitch, you gays don't even stay in relationships long enough where a motherfucker's credit score even comes into play. Right. Y'all can't even make it through a motherfucking six month lease in an apartment. Right. So, why does it matter if his credit score is an 800 or seven or, or 650? Why does it even matter? And I think that we, you, I think we talk ourselves out of situations because we really, because here's the thing me and my, my friend circle of gay men. Most of the ones that I'm that I run with on a consistent basis, most of them are single. And my thing is, if we're all saying that we want the same things, why haven't we found each other? So is it just something to say? I want integrity. I want a I want a monogamous relationship. I want this. I want to build. I want a partner. I want somebody that I can I can come home to. So then, why the fuck haven't we found each other? What what's happening? But I think we 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 set up all of these unrealistic things, these unrealistic standards, expectations, expectations, because we really don't want a person to be able to meet it. 
we really are making it impossible for people to meet it. Now, I'm not saying no fuck shit. I'm not saying putting up with a whole bunch of dumb shit. But what I'm saying is we're expecting perfection out of people. Well, I don't expect, and here's the thing. I don't expect people to be perfect, you yeah. know, because everything that I didn't want, I ended up dating it anyway. Yeah. And, you know, and then I was reminded why I didn't like it. Like mm -hmm. every time I was going through the, I ran through the phone. I ran to something. I saw every trainee's dick in the United States of America. Yeah. And I was like, this is why, Madison, you didn't want to be fucking around with no damn boy that, lo that loves dick. Because mm. you do every dick. And I saw every, bitch, if you, if listen, I, I don't even want to say it, but bitch, I saw all y'all trainee's dicks. <laughs> and didn't, and one, and didn't want to see it. But it's just, you know. You saw all day. All of them. I'm like, girl. <laughs> So and I was and you know this this the thing is like this why I didn't want to date no man yeah. that go after dick like I don't want to date a man that's just like this if that's his first but you also don't want a man who's trying to fuck all of the train you got me saying that the trainee y'all know I don't say trainees and I don't say because I don't listen I already got the them and days after me I don't say that trans community you also don't want a guy who's fucking a lot of trans women either no I don't especially not at, not not with me being. A public figure like I am, like right. I, I don't want to be like as a public figure. I don't really want to be because here, here's the thing: a bitch be thinking they have one up on oh, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, um, and yeah. so that's you know, but which alienates me from a lot of dating. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm not dating. I'm not either because I'm. It, it's I'm just away from, and I'm also not as sexually active as I used to be. Well, I am. I guess great. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me well let me clarify. I'm really not busy right now, uh -huh. with the exception of the un, you know un, uninvited guests the other night. Mm -hmm. But that was an ex. But other than that, like I'm really not. Like people, a lot of times will assume, you know, that you're into stuff and you know you're doing stuff. But I'm I'm really not. And just like I told when me and Mo used to have this conversation, it was just me and Mo talking. And I told he was like, "Well, Maddie, why wouldn't you want to?" I I said I didn't say I wouldn't fuck the boy that likes to get fucked. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. I didn't say I wouldn't motherfucker taking the pound him. <laughs> I didn't say that I wouldn't walk him like a dog. Right. I said that would not be my husband. Right. That's not. I'm not. I'm not. That's not somebody that's going to get put out after forty eight hours after I die. Oh my god! Right. I would love. To, <laughs> I, I would love to know how Nito thinks or knows knows. That I'm high maintenance. I would love to know that. Yeah. And I mean, Mo used to always be deep in questioning, uh -huh. stating, well, Mo, well, Maddie, what you gonna like? And I'm like, if he's if he's if if he's out there seeking dick, seeking it, like this, you know, how those bitches was on the on the on the three witches, what was they? The uh, uh wait, the Sanderson talk? sisters. <sighs> yeah. Oh because that's how these men be out here about the about these fucking trainees. <laughs> them bitches be out there on a they want to know who got who to who to they walking out looking for him. Yeah, I can't. Like I have no interest. It's just I don't have no interest in that. Right. So, I, so when ladies say shit like that, I understand where the girls be coming from. But that also, but does that make me toxic? Does that make me? Does that make me have internalized homophobia? Mm -hmm. It does. Oh, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm asking. Does that make me have? If it does, it make you have internalized transphobia? If what? You don't want to be with somebody who, no, I did, but, okay. who takes it. She doesn't want to be I didn't say be with her because I will be okay, with you. She doesn't want to be in a committed relationship. Yeah. With somebody that's that it. Committed it. relationship. Yes. Committed with somebody who gets fucked. Yes. Yeah. Well, let me let, let me push back just a little bit. Okay. So how is that any different, Madison, for heterosexual men who are only in relationships with heterosexual women, bio women, who want to be pegged by their bio woman. And there are bio women who are like, I don't want to be with no man who wants to get fucked. And we sit here and we, <laughs> wait a minute, and we and we sit here, listen, and we sit I'm here, gonna answer that. You, and, and we, hold on, time. and we sit here, oh, you're making a point for I, I'm going to make a point for them. And we sit here, and we tell the straight women, listen, it's okay if your man wants you to fuck him with a dildo. 
he still could be straight. Just because he wants you to fuck him with a dildo doesn't mean he wants me or Miss Tim to do it. Because <laughs> Miss Tim gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it too, but I'm gonna use my own dick. Miss and uh, Miss Tim using her own dick too. <laughs> but 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 my thing is this face on, on be, because, because the Tim truth, gonna do it. Because the truth is, a man's erogenous zone, whether you gay, straight, bi, whatever, a man's erogenous zone is in his asshole, right? So when they, I believe that there are straight men who want to be pegged by a heterosexual woman. For now, <laughs> oh, y'all looking at something came for y'all? Anything come for me? <laughs> <laughs> Anything come? Okay. Okay. Uh, anything, anything come for me? Anything. Anything. Anything, anything come for me? Anything. Is anything? No, no. Nothing? Okay. All right. Well. Okay, so go ahead. Um. <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> One more time. What is it? <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Again, <laughs> Craig. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm. It's. I, I, I'm talking about my preference. I'm not making a, a. I'm not being phobic about it. Okay. I'm just saying my preference. I don't prefer. I don't prefer. To be in a committed relationship with a man like that, I would, I would, I will beat the brakes off of him. Mm -hmm. I will bang him. Mm -hmm. I will slaughter him. I will take him to the edge of no return, to the point and the edge of no coming back. Yeah. But I will not. He can't call me to my. He can't call me trying to scrape me by where I'm at. He can't because he me. because he wants to get fun. He can't do that. Go ahead. So he can't call you asking where you at. Well, he can't straighten. What you were checking on me for? Cause I know where you at, bitch. 